Yes. Speaks all about the insecurity in this country. And therefore, Mr. President, if there's anything to be done, we have to take to ensure. I'm sure there is a senior committee on compliance. Let the senior committee on compliance. I'm sure it's a standing committee. This is the live broadcast of Senate Plenary today, Wednesday, 25th of November, 2020. The original live uh, from the floor of the Senate, where the Senate has already reconvened for today's plenary. At the moment, uh, the Senate is uh, considering a motion by Senator Emmanuel Boacha on, the, on what he described as the spike of uh, his security challenges in the country. And then the Senate, Senate is actually uh, trying to profile some solutions and how it will intervene in this process. And today we also expect to be uh, that the Senate will receive four reports, uh, a presentation of four reports and consideration as well, and four motions that will be coming on the floor. Uh, well, let's, let's, let's join the proceedings. I am Ignatius Unko. I share the same sentiments. Uh, with uh, leader and uh, Senator Jones manager. We are not going to set up an ad hoc committee uh, just to interface with the Minister of Communications on this. I would suggest that the, minister, the our Senate Committee on Communications should invite the Minister and um, ensure that he implements those provisions or those resolutions we have passed in the last Senate and in this Senate as well on, on how the communications of sector would aid in the fight against the insecurity that we have been facing. So, Senate Leader, Senate Leader, hi. Please allow the Senate Leader to concentrate. Senate Leader. It's, it's, no, it's, uh, leader, leader, just hold on. <laughs> the, I think we need to amend the, yes, the prayer. Amendment. Instead of the ad hoc committee, to set our ad hoc committee, which is unnecessary, let's yes. make it our committee on communications. Com no, communications and the two joint committees on legislative compliance and communications to invite the Minister of uh, communication uh, with a view to uh, uh, employing on him to implement the recommendations and resolutions of the Senate, you know, in the area, uh, in his area of mandate on the matter of security. Uh, second, uh, Senator Jones, manager. Very naturally, Mr. President, I rise to second the motion as moved by the, 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 the Senate leader. Thank you, Mr. President. So, the Senate colleagues. Uh, there is only one uh, prayer, and that is the one amended, and I'll put the question that the Senate, that the Senate Committee on Communications and Legislative Compliance interface with the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy to ensure the implementation of the recommendations of the Senate on the fight against insecurity as it relates to his ministry. Those in favor say aye. Those against any that is have. Thank you very much. Senator Nicholas Tofo Omo. I'm, I'm rising on the order of order 42 and 52. Order, 40, order 42, sir. The matter for discussion shall, if possible, be referred to the President of the Senate before commencement of the day sitting. And the President of the Senate shall refuse to allow the claim unless if he is satisfied that the matter is definite and urgent. If the claim is allowed by the President of the Senate and the leave of the Senate is given by at least one fifth of all the Senators, the matters shall stand over to the next day. Not more than one such motion shall be made at the same sitting. Then, Order 42, which is dispensing with notice. Notice 
shall not be dispensed shall not be dispensed with in the case of a motion or in respect of any other proceedings for which notice is requ required except with the consent of the president of the senate and general accent of the senate of the state an object need to rescue it's an object need in Ayeto community in Ondo state where there is an what, what is it about? What, what is it about? It's about oceanic soil in Ayeto in my, in my constituency that why have Oh, the boys are hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the you know, we didn't discuss it, but I will, I will allow you to go ahead when the decide to discuss because I didn't know what it is. The distinguished colleagues, uh, those in favor that we allow our colleague, which I think we should, uh, to present his motion uh, coming under 42 and 52 CI. Those against any the eyes have it. So go ahead. Thank you so much. I would have come earlier, but I have no legs to walk to you. So that is right. So I, mean, so I thank you so much. The need to implement The president of the Senate, my colleagues, I want you to note that Ayetoro, which used to be called Ayetoro Floating City in the 1970s, has suffered a severe ocean current disaster which has depleted the floating city and destroyed 308 houses, swept away fishing tools, and rendered many people homeless. It's regrettable that Ayetoro, which is part of the Nigeria Delta region, is yet to receive any support from the NDDC same also on those state oil producing and development corporation on the super deck, which oversees oil producing part of on those state. It's, it's regrettable also that crude oil exporting like communities, on. Hmm? communities which operate around the region with its offices in the larger local government has not supported either. It's considered that Ayetoro floating city's major occupation is fishing. Hence, most of the residents have suffered losses of their fishing tools, and this has rendered most of them helpless and jobless. For it that Ayetoro community has been neglected by NDDC, and on those state government for not building oceanic barriers to stop curtail the effect of flooding and ocean waves. I accordingly resolve to one urge the NDDC and on those state government to respond and assist victims in the community as well as develop a master plan that includes building of oceanic barriers to control flooding and ocean surge in the region. Number two, urge the Nigeria Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, to visit Ayetoro, ascertain the level of destruction in the community with a view to protect, to, with a view to provide solution to protect future occurrence. And the last one, urge oil producing companies to assist the community in rebuilding some of the infrastructure destroyed by the soil. I so move. Thank you, Thank you sir. I need someone to support this motion. Okay. Senator Tolu Odebi. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. I'm Tolu Odebi from Open West. Arise to su support the motion ably moved by my good friend Senator Tofomo. I have a second. 
Distinguished colleagues, let's go to the prayers. The Senate accordingly resolves to urge the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, and own door state government to respond and assist victims in the community, as well as develop a master plan that includes building of ocean barriers to control flooding and ocean surge in the region. Those in favor of this prayer say aye. Those against any ayes have it. Prayer 2 urged the Nigeria Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, to visit Ayetaro ascertain the level, to ascertain the level of destruction in the community with a view to provide solution to prevent future occurrence. Those in favor of this prayer say aye. Those against any day. And prayer three, urge oil producing companies to assist the community in rebuilding some of the infrastructure destroyed by the search. Are you saying oil, pro oil producing companies in Oyetoro, in Ondo, or just across the country? Because you need to be specific. In, in Oyetoro. Yeah, the oil companies around there. Uh, so the prayer will be prayer three, urge oil producing companies in operating in Oyetoro to assist the community in rebuilding some of the infrastructure destroyed by the search. Those in favor of prayer three say aye. Those against any that is aye. Thank you very much. Leader of the Senate. So President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues. The first business of the day is the presentation of our... Senator Betty Apiafi, you are welcome. We appreciate <laughs> that sense of unity of purpose. Ah, stay there. The first business of the day, <coughs> Mr. President, is the presentation of our bill standing in the name of the Tungu Senator Ubasani on the Firearms Act Amendment Bill 2020. Mr. President, you may wish to invite the clerk of the Senate to read the short title of the bill. Clerk of the Senate. Mr. President, distinguished Senators, Firearms Amendment Bill 2020, SB 549, first reading. Firearms Act Cup F28 Elephant. This ele is it complete? Elephant 2004. Where are the lawyers? Is this supposed to be Elephant 2004 or just Elephant? It has to be specific, isn't it? Sorry. The, the SP. Sorry, I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. Okay. There's a firearms act cap F28 elephant. I imagine that it will be elephant 2004. Amendment Bill 2020 SB 549. First reading taken. Leader of the Senate. It's elephant. Yes. It's elephant. The President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, the second business of the day is the presentation of our bill standing in the name of the Stuku Senator Ibukule Amosu on the Motor Vehicle Third Party Insurance Amendment Act, Bill 2020, Senate Bill 579. Mr. President, you may wish to invite the clerk of the Senate to read the short title of the bill. Clerk of the Senate. Mr. President, distinguished Senators, Motor Vehicle Third Party Insurance Act, CAF, M23, LFN 2004, Amendment Bill 2020, SB 579, first reading. Motor Vehicle Start Party Insurance Act Cap M23, Elephant 2004, Amendment Bill 2020, SB 579, first reading taken. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, the third business of the day is the presentation of our bill standing in the name of distinguished Senator Yisa Okajev on the Oil and Gas Export Free Zone Act Amendment Bill 2020. Mr. President, you may wish to invite the clerk of the Senate to read the short title of the bill. Clerk of the Senate. Mr. President, distinguished Senators, Oil and Gas Free Export Free Zone Act CAF, C05 LFN 2004 Amendment Bill 2020, SB 573, first reading. Oil and Gas Export Free Zone Act CAF, C05 LFN 2004 Amendment Bill 2020, 573. First reading taken. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, the fourth business of the day is the presentation of a bill standing in the name of distinguished Senator Olure Mishade Tinubu on the Stamp Duties Act, Cap S8, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004, Amendment Bill 2020. 
Mr. President, may we to invite the clerk of the Senate to read the short title of the bill. Clerk of the Senate. Mr. President, distinguished Senators, Stamp Duties Act Cap 5, S8, FLN, 2004, Amendment Bill 2020, SB 544, first reading. Stamp Duties Act Cap. Eight eleven two thousand and four amendment bill twenty twenty SB five hundred and forty four first reading taken. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, the fifth business of the day is the presentation of a bill standing the name of distinguished Senator Olale Kanda Moni Mustafa on the Nigeria Correctional Services Academy Establishment Bill twenty twenty. Mr. President, you may wish to invite the clerk of the Senate to read the short title of the bill. Clerk of the Senate. Mr. President, distinguished senators, Nigeria Correctional Services Academy Establishment Bill 2020, SB 545, first reading. Nigerian Correctional Services Academy Establishment Bill 2020, SB 545, first reading taken. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, the sixth business of the day is the presentation of the report of the Committee on Aviation on the unfair competition that is urgent need to protect Nigeria's indigenous airlines from extinction due to multiple designations and multiple frequencies granted foreign airlines in Nigeria. Mr. President, you may wish to invite the Tungu Senator Smart Ademi, Chairman of the Committee, to move the motion for the Senate to receive the report. Senator Smart Ademi. Leader. He is not here. Is anyone presenting on his behalf? No. We will stand it down. So, Mr. President, I rise to move the motion for the distinguished chamber to stand down consideration of this motion to another legislative day. I so move. Minority Leader. Mr. President, I rise to second the motion as moved. Distinguished colleagues, those in favor of the motion that we stand down the consideration the receipt of this report Till another legislative day, say aye. aye. Those against say nay, the aye side. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, the first order of the day is a motion requesting the Senate to consider the request of Mr. President, Commander in Chief, for the confirmation of the nomination of the following persons for appointment as chairman and members of the National Commission of for Persons with Disabilities in accordance with section 32, subsection 3 of the Discrimination Against Persons with Disabilities Prohibition Act 2019. And the nominees are as follows. Number one, Hon. Dr. Hussein Suleiman Kangiwa, Chairman, Northwest. Number two, Oparaku Onyejelam Jaja, Member, Southeast. Number three, Philomena Isioma Kongoya, Member, South South. Number four, Omopariola Basui Olu Wosola, member, Southwest. Number five, Amina Rama Audu, member, Northwest. Number six, Mrs. Esther Andrew Au, member, North Central. And number seven, Abba Audu Ibrahim, member, Northeast. Mr. President, distinguished senators, the purpose of this motion is for the request of Mr. President to be referred to the relevant committee for further legislative action. I therefore move that the request of Mr. President Commander-in-Chief be referred to the appropriate committee for further legislative action. So, Minority Leader. Mr. President, I rise to second the motion as moved. The Senate colleagues, those involved in the motion that the request of Mr. President C&C be referred to the appropriate committee, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. And um, the request of Mr. President CNC is hereby referred to the Committee on Sports and Youth Development for further legislative action and to report back within two weeks. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, the second order of the day is a motion. It's a motion requesting the Senate to consider the request of Mr. President Commander-in-Chief for the confirmation of the nomination of Professor Yakubu Mahmoud for appointment as Chairman Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in accordance with Section 154, Subsection 1 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended. 
Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, the purpose of this motion on the order paper is for the request of Mr. President, Commander in Chief, to be referred to the appropriate committee for further legislative action. I therefore move, Mr. President, that the request of Mr. President, Commander in Chief, be referred to the appropriate committee for further legislative action. I so move. Minority Leader. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I rise to second the motion that Mr. President's request be referred to the appropriate committee. I so second. Distinguished colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the request of Mr. President CNC be referred to the appropriate committee for further legislative action say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The ayes are. The request of Mr. President CNC is hereby referred to the Senate Committee on INEC for further legislative action and to report back on Tuesday, first day of December 2020. Leader of the Senate. <clears throat> Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, the third order of the day is a motion requesting the Senate to consider the request of Mr. President Commander-in-Chief for the confirmation of the nomination of Professor Abdullahi Abduzuru for appointment as National Commissioner in the Independent National Election Commission in accordance with paragraph 14, part 1F of the third schedule to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended. Mr. President, Distinguished colleagues, the purpose of this motion on the order paper is for the request of Mr. President, Commander in Chief, to be referred to the relevant committee for further legislative action. I therefore move that the request of Mr. President, Commander in Chief, be referred to the appropriate committee for further legislative action, and I so move. Minority Leader. Mr. President, I rise to second the motion. Distinguished colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the request of Mr. President C and C be referred to the appropriate committee for further legislative action. Say aye. aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. The request of Mr. President C and C is hereby referred to the Senate Committee on INEC for further legislative action and to report back on Tuesday, first day of December 2020. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, the fourth order of the day is a motion requesting the Senate to consider the request of Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief, for the confirmation of the nomination of the following persons for appointment as Chairman, Vice Chairman, and Commissioner of the National Electricity Regulatory Commission (NERC) in accordance with Section 34 and 40, Subsection 1 of the Electricity Power Reform Act. And the names are as follows: Number one, Engineer Sanusi Garba, Chairman. Number two. Dr. Musliu Olalekam Oseni, Executive Vice Chairman, Number 3, Aisha Mahmoud, Commissioner. Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, the purpose of this motion is for the request of Mr. President Commander-in-Chief to be referred to the relevant committee for further legislative action. I therefore move that the request of Mr. President Commander-in-Chief be referred to the appropriate committee for further legislative action. And I so move. Minority Leader. I rise to second this move, Mr. President. Distinguished colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the request of Mr. President C and C be referred to the appropriate committee for further legislative action say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have the request of Mr. President C and C is hereby referred to the Senate Committee on Power for further legislative action to report back on Tuesday, first day of December 2020. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected colleagues, the fifth order of the day is a motion requesting the Senate to consider the request of Mr. President Commander-in-Chief for the confirmation of the nomination of Chief Oye Muche Namani for appointment as a member of the Police Service Commission in accordance with Section 154, Subsection 1, of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the purpose of this motion is for the request of Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief, to be referred to the relevant committee for further legislative action. I therefore move that the request of Mr. President, Commander-in-Chief, be referred to the appropriate committee for further legislative action, and I so move. Minority Leader. Mr. President, I just second, I second the motion as moved. The Senate colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the request of Mr. President CNC be referred to the appropriate committee for further legislative action, say aye. Those against any, the ayes. The 
request of Mr. President CNC is referred to the Committee on Police Affairs for further legislative action to report by within two weeks. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, the sixth order of the day is a motion requesting the Senate to consider the request of Mr. President Commander in Chief for the confirmation of the nomination of the following persons for appointment at the Governing Council of the Hydroelectric Power Producing Areas Development Commission, HyperDEC, in accordance with Section 3, Subsection 2 of the Hydroelectric Power Producing Areas Development Commission, HyperDEC Act. They are as follows. Number one, ETM Joseph Terfa Binwe, Chairman. Abubakar Sadiq Yalwa, Kebi, Managing Director. Alec Isa Oji Salami, OFR, Kogi, Member. Tawhid Dawood Toyin Kwara, Member. Paul Mikhail A. Bismosahi, Niger, Member. Salim Mohammed Geladima Kanam, Lato. Member, Engineer Aminu Muhammad Ganda Sokoto, Member, then Chief Barista Utum Eteng, Cross River Member. Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, the purpose of this motion is for the request of Mr. President Commander in Chief to be referred to the relevant committee for further legislative action. I therefore move that the request of Mr. President Commander in Chief be referred to the appropriate committee for further legislative action, and I so move. Minority Leader. Mr. President, I rise to second the motion that the aforementioned names be referred to the appropriate committee for further legislative action. Distinguished colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the request of Mr. President CNC be referred to the appropriate committee for further legislative action, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes. The request of Mr. President CNC is referred to the Senate Committee on Power for further legislative action to report by within two weeks. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected colleagues, the, 11th order of, the seventh order of the day is a motion requesting the Senate to consider the request of Mr. President Commander-in-Chief for the confirmation of the nomination of Umaru Farouk Aminu for appointment as a full-time uh, commissioner representing the Northwest Geopolitical Zone in the National Pension Commission in accordance with Section 19, Subsection 3 of the Pension Reforms Act 2014. Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, the purpose of this motion is for the request of Mr. President Commander-in-Chief to be referred to the relevant committee for further legislative action. I therefore move that the request of Mr. President Commander-in-Chief be referred to the appropriate committee for further legislative action and I so move. Minority Leader. Mr. President, I second the motion that's moved. Mr. Mr. Colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the request of Mr. President CNC be referred to the appropriate committee for further legislative action say aye. aye. Those against say nay, the aye. Sir. The request of Mr. President CNC is hereby referred to the Committee on Establishment and Public Service Matters for further legislative action and to report back within two weeks. Leader of the Senate. President, point of order. Point of order. Senator Michael Opey, Niba Mijeli. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I'm Michael Opey, Niba Mijeli. I represent the Central Senatorial District. Mr. President, my point of order is with respect to Order 42 of our standing orders, uh, Order 43, personal explanation, as well as the constitutional point of order. Uh, referring to a section of a particular act made pursuant to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended, and specifically, sir, uh, Section 93. Uh, sorry, Mr. President. Uh, section 19, subsection 3 of the uh, Pension Reform Act, as well as Mr. President, uh, well, I, I'll leave it at that. Mr. President, my point is this, and all I'm trying to safeguard is the record of this Senate. And if in another 20 years anybody is going through our hands, up, there should not be a problem trying to be concerned. I refer specifically to the letter from Mr. President dated 5th November 2020.
20, which was read on the floor of this house, uh, of this Senate yesterday, and of course uh, today uh, has just been referred, you know, uh, legitimately so. Mr. President, this letter did not appear to have taken cognizance of the fact that two months ago, a similar letter with the same request on this house, on, the, on this Senate, had been read on the floor. There should be something in this letter that will at least show either that Mr. President is substituting Honorable Farouk, the new nominee, for the former nominee, or, you know, I mean, the former nominee is being withdrawn. The same, it cannot be the same language, the same way it was written, and then on our other paper, it will also be, I mean, the same, the same uh, language, the same procedure being referred to the committee. So I really feel that for the record, it needs to be identified and acknowledged that you know there have been a similar request regarding another nominee and this is probably a substitution of whatever it is. I just felt I should make that kind of surprise. Thank you so much. Senator Amado Oveta. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, I think uh, we all know the reason why uh, the first candidate, after a proper scrutiny by the committee, they find the uh, last uh, nominee uh, wanted. And for as such, the presidency respected the observation of uh, the Senate and presented another candidate. So I don't think that it's any, we've had the same, we have had to go through the same uh, process before. So I don't think this is an anomaly. Well, um, thank you very much for your observation, but let me say that the president is not breaking any law by writing the letter wrote right that way. And let me also say here that this nomination I would say it's as a result of a position taken by the Senate. The, the Senate did not uh, uh, confirm the initial nominee from the Northwest. I think that's the, way, that's the issue. And we had our grounds why we didn't confirm that nominee. And it was conveyed to the President. And the President decided, okay, our grounds were solid enough. And he presented. I think we should we should commend the executive for for uh, for respecting the the resolution or the position of, of, the, of the Senate. So your point of order is uh, noted. Thank you. Um, I think I've already put the the question. Or didn't I? Uh, speak, um, sorry, leader. Okay, I'll put the question. So let me put it again. Because there is a need to remind ourselves. The so colleagues, those in favor of the motion moved by the leader and seconded by the minority leader that the request of Mr. President CNC be referred to the appropriate committee for further legislative action. Say aye. aye. Those against say nay, the aye seven. The request of Mr. President CNC is hereby referred to the Committee on Establishment and Public Service Matters for further legislative action and to report back within two weeks. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, the eighth order of the day is the presentation and consideration of the report of the Committee on Trade and Investment on the confirmation of the nominations of the following persons listed on the order paper. For the appointment of the chairman, executive vice chairman, and chief executive officer and commissioners, and non executive commissioners of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Council uh, Commission. Distinguished senators will recall that the request of Mr. President Commander in Chief was referred to the committee on Wednesday, 30th September 2020. Mr. President, you may wish to invite distinguished Senator Francis Adenigba Fadaunsi, chairman of the committee, to move the motion for the presentation and consideration of the report. Um, Senator Francis Adenigba is vice chairman, not chairman of the committee. So he is the one to present the, the report. The single Senator Francis Adenigba, Father Onsi.
Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, my name is Francis, Senator Francis Adeni Bapadans, co of I present the report of Ruiz. I rise to present the report um, of the Committee on Trade and Investment on confirmation of the nomination for appointment as chairman, executive vice chairman, through chief executive officer, commissioners, non-executive commissioners of the Federal Competitive Competition and Consumer Protection Commission. So I so I need to submit the report and tell me before the whole thing. So I need a second. Senator Geshambasi. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Geshambasi, Cross River South. I second the motion moved by Senator Fadamsi. Thank so much, colleagues. There was a favor of the motion that the Senate do receive and consider the report of our committee of our committee on trade and investment. Say aye. aye. There was again say nay. Aye, sir. You may let the report, please. You may present the report now. I would suggest that you um, you can go to the recommendations so that we save time. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I have present the report of the Senate Committee on Trade and Investment on the screening of Chairman, Executive Vice Chairman, Chief Executive, Executive Commissioners, and non-commissioners, non-executive commissioners of the Federal Competitive and Consumer Protection Commission. Committee, the Senate Committee on Trade and Investment, having screened seven out of the eight nominees, carefully scrutinized their credentials, and having been satisfied with their performances, experiences, qualification, and competencies, hereby recommend that the Senate do confirm the nomination of the underlisted persons as chairman. Executive Vice Chairman, Sub Chief Executive Officer, Commissioners, and Non-Executive Commissioners of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, FCCPC. They are Barrister Elika Mwaba, Chairman, Babatunde Irukera, Executive Vice Chairman, Adamu Ahmed Abdullah, Executive Commissioner, Yagas Mansa Wakili A. Ahmed, Non-Executive Commissioner, Ayan Francis Aya, Non-Executive Commissioner, Dr. Ben Obi Uwui, Non-Executive Commissioner, and Chief Theophilos S. Oyebi, Non-Executive Commissioner. The Senate do 
stand down the commission, the confirmation of Mrs. Nika Osoba Atata, Atata for appointment as an elected commissioner of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission because she was not available around that time because of COVID-19 problems. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, on behalf of the committee, I wish to most sincerely thank the Senate for the, for the opportunity to serve in this regard. So I mean. Uh, before, any, any, any comments, but before then, why, why did you stand down the confirmation of Mrs. Yenka Oshoba Atapa? What was the issue? No, no, she didn't appear before the committee? Yes. At all? Yes. Okay, that's good. Any comments? Leader of the Senate, Committee of the Board. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, I rise to move a motion for this distinguished chamber to resolve the committee of the hall to consider this report. I so move. Minority leader. Yes. Those in favor of the motion that the Senate resolves into committee of the whole to consider the report of our committee on trade investment, say aye. aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. colleagues who will start with uh, approval and when we come to um, Mrs. Yinka Oshoba Apata will uh, negative the the confirmation and the approval so when I put the question on her we, we, we vote nay because she's not recommended for, for confirmation thank you Will the Senate approve the nomination of Barista Emeka Umwampa for appoint as chairman? Will the Senate approve the nomination of Barista Emeka Umwampa as chairman, chief executive officer of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission? Those in favor will say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of AVM Wakili Abdullahi Ahmed as an executive, no, as a non executive commissioner? As a non executive commissioner of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission. Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Mrs. Yinka Oshoba Apata as Executive Commissioner of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission? This is why we vote uh, nay. Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The nays have it. Yes? That's how it is supposed to be. <laughs> will the Senate... Will, will <laughs> she didn't appear at all, so we... Yeah, so we, we, we can't confirm someone who has not been screened. Yeah. Will the Senate... Will the Senate approve the nomination of Adamu... Ahmed Abdullahi as Executive Commissioner of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission. Those in favor will say aye. aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Babatunde Irekera as Executive Vice Chairman 
Chief Executive Officer of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission. Those in favor say aye. Say aye. Aye, aye. Those, those against say nay. The eyes are weak. Is he from Um, Kogi? Okay, yeah, I agree with that. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Ben Obi Umwoye, JD, as a non executive commissioner of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission? Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The eyes are would the Senate approve the nomination of Theopolis S. Oyebi as a non-executive commissioner of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes aye. Would the Senate approve the nomination of Ian Francis A.M. as a non-executive commissioner of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes aye. Leader of the Senate. I rise to move the motion for the chair to resume progress to enable the chair to report progress. I so move. Minority Leader. Mr. President, uh, Mr. Chairman, I rise to second the motion. <laughs> the so much colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the Senate reverse to plenary for the chair to report progress, those in favor say aye, those against say nay, the aye say. The Senate in the Committee of the Hall considered the report of the Committee on Trade and Investment on the screening of Mr. President's nominees for appointment as Chairman, Executive Vice Chairman, Chief Executive Officer, Executive Commissioners, and Non-Executive Commissioners of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission, FCCPC, and approved the nominations of Barissa Emeka Wankwa, Chairman, AVM Wakili Abdullahi Ahmed, Non-Executive Commissioner, Babatunde Ire Kera, Iru Kera, Executive Vice Chairman, Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Ben Obi Nwoye, JD, Non Executive Commissioner, Adamu Ahmed Abdullahi, Executive Commissioner, Chief Theopilos S. OABE, Non Executive Commissioner, Ayang Francis A.M., Non Executive Commissioner, and the Senate stood down the approval of the nomination of Mrs. Yinka Oshoba Apata representing Southwest. Is this a true reflection of what transpired in the Committee of the Hall? Yes. Uh -uh. Mob, what? Uh, I hope there is no mob action. Oh. All right. Thank you. Confirmation. Will the Senate confirm the nomination of Barista Emeka Wangpa as Chairman of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes. The nomination of Barista Emeka Wangpa is hereby confirmed as Chairman of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission. Will the Senate Confirm the nomination of AVM Wakili Abdullahi Ahmed as a non executive commissioner of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission. Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes. The, the nomination of AVM Wakili Abdullahi Ahmed is hereby confirmed as a non-executive commissioner of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission. Will the Senate confirm the nomination of Baba Tunde Iru Kera as executive vice chairman, CEO of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. 
the high service. The nomination of Babatunde Iro Kera as Executive Vice Chairman, Chief Executive Officer of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission is hereby confirmed. Will the Senate confirm the nomination of Dr. Ben Obi Nwoye JD as a non executive commissioner of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. The nomination of Dr. Ben Obi Nwoye JD as a non executive commissioner is hereby confirmed of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission. Will the Senate confirm the nomination of Adamu Ahmed Abdullahi as Executive Commissioner of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes. The nomination of Adamu Ahmed Abdullahi is hereby confirmed as an Executive Commissioner of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission. Will the Senate confirm the nomination of Chief Theophilus S. Oyeb as a non executive commissioner of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The nomination of Chief Theophilus S. Oyeb is hereby confirmed as non executive commissioner of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission. Will the Senate confirm the nomination of Ayang Francis A.M. as a non-executive commissioner of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. The nomination of Ayang Francis A.M. is hereby confirmed as a non-executive commissioner of the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection. Well, congratulations to all of them, and uh, they should hit the ground running. Thank you very much, Mr. Colleagues. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, the ninth order of the day is the consideration of the report of the Committee on Tertiary Education and Tech Fund on the College, Federal College of Education, Mutumbi, Taraba State Establishment, Bill 2020. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, we recall that the report of the committee was laid on Wednesday, 1st July 2020. Mr. President, you may wish to invite distinguished Senator Ahmad Babakita, Chairman of the committee, to move the motion for the consideration of the report. Chief the Senior Senator Ahmad Babakita. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the, uh, my deputy is going to present the bill, sir. Distinguished Senator Professor Sandy Ono. Thank you, Mr. President. Senator Sandy Ono, Crossover Central. I'm representing the Chairman of Tertiary Institutions and Tepon. <laughs> Mr. President, distinguished colleagues. Um, Prof, this year report is very, very bulky. Please, can we have an abridged, uh, yeah, can you present it, summarize, in a very professorial way? I move that the Senate do consider the report of the Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Tech on the Federal College of Education, Mutum Bill, Establishment Bill 2020. I so move, Mr. President. Sarkanda, please. Senator Kedjev. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay, Jeff. I represent Penny Northwest. I rise to second the motion assembly moved by Professor Sandy. I so second. The Senate colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the Senate considers the report of our committee on tertiary education and third one, say aye. Those against any the eyes have it. Thank you. Mr. President, there are actually three reports. I do not know whether I could uh, 
you could give me the liberty to go ahead, move that the three reports be accepted, so I lay them together. Help? Sorry, there's some wish. I think we are not uh, receiving, and this is supposed to be considered. It means the reports were laid before, isn't it? Well, yeah. So it's consideration, and we should because we are going close by close. We we have to take them one by one. So you start with one, this meeting build, and then we we resolve into committee of the whole to take uh, the report close by close, and we we'll come back. I just go straight to the observation and findings. From Mutumbi, from the views canvassed by stakeholders and members of the public at the public hearing and subsequent analysis of the presentations vis a vis the provisions of the bill in subsequent meetings, the committee hereby makes the following observations findings. One, Stakeholders were unanimous in their support for the passage of the bill by the National Assembly. Two, that the purport of the bill is laudable as it seeks to establish an institution that will train professional teachers to address the perennial shortage of qualified teachers in recent times, which has affected the standard of education in the country. Three, that the establishment of the proposed College of Education in Mutumbiu will bring about socio-economic and educational development of the region and will encourage the prospective youths, especially women of the area who are so backward in education, to take advantage of the proximity of the college to get themselves educated. Four, that the passage of the bill will no doubt give the people of the region a sense of belonging, as this will be seen as one of the dividends of democracy. This present administration will be quitting to them, which will go down in history as the first tertiary institution in the town. Recommendation. The Senate Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Third Fund, having carefully considered the bill, recommends as follows. That the Senate do consider and pass the Federal College of Education, Mutum Bill, Taraba State, Establishment Etc. Bill, 2020 as amended. Conclusion. Conclusion, I wish to use this opportunity to thank the President of the Senate and our distinguished colleagues for the opportunity to serve in this capacity and to humbly request the Senate to pass the bill. I so move, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Leader of the Senate, Committee of the Board. Uh, Mr. President, I rise to move the motion for this uh, distinguished senator to resolve the committee of the whole to consider this report. I saw Mr. President, I ask you. Be before, before you, Senator Susan, you are raising your hand. Uh, uh, Mr. President, just to appeal that since time is of the essence, why don't he make the presentation so that when you sit down in committee of the whole, you will take them one after the other. Otherwise, we'll be going back and coming back. So he can present the 3B in the manner he has done, so that when we resolve the committee of the whole, you don't need to go back. You will take this one, finish that one, take that one. So when you go back, you put it at the same time. It's just oh, okay. okay. I thought you were going to oppose it. So it's okay. Present the other ones. Thank you, Mr. President. The second report is on the bill for an act to provide for the establishment of the Federal University of Technology, Mancho. 
Kaduna State and Related Matters 2020. Recommendations, observations and findings. From the preponderance of views canvassed by stakeholders during the public hearing and analysis of the presentation, the committee hereby makes the following observations and findings. One, that the stakeholders and all the participants at the public hearing unanimously agreed on the internment of the bill. Two, that the establishment of the proposed federal university will bring about socio-economic and educational development of the region and will encourage the prospective youth to take advantage of the flexibility of the institution to get themselves educated. And three, that the passage of the bill will no doubt give the people of the region a sense of belonging, as this will be seen as one of the dividends of democracy. Recommendations. The Senate Committee on Tertiary and, and uh, Tertiary Institutions and Third Fund, having carefully considered the bill, recommends as follows. One, sections one to 27 be retained as in the bill. Two, the long and short titles of the bill be retained. And three, the schedules of the bill be retained. Conclusion, the committee recommends that the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria do approve its recommendations accordingly. The committee wishes to express its profound gratitude to the entire Senate for its usual support. I so move, Mr. President. Thank you. Any comments? You, President, the other one, the last one. Thank you, Mr. President. The last one is on a report on a bill for an act to provide for the establishment of the Federal Polytechnic, ABBA, ABIA State and Related Matters. Observations and findings. From the proponents of views canvassed by stakeholders during the public hearing and analysis of same, the committee hereby makes the following observations and findings that the stake one, that the stakeholders and all the participants at the public hearing unanimously agreed the intent of the bill, two, that the need to create more access to technical and vocational education is one of the main objectives of this bill. Therefore, the Senate should support the passage of the bill. Three, that the establishment of the proposed federal polytechnic will bring about socio-economic and educational development of the region and will encourage the prospective youth to take advantage of the proximity of the institution to get themselves educated. And four, that the passage of the bill will no doubt give the people of the region a sense of belonging, as this will be seen as one of the dividends of democracy. Recommendations. The Senate Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Debt Fund, having carefully considered the bill, recommends as follows. One, sections 1 to 29 be retained as in the bill. Two, the long and short titles of the bill be retained. And three, the schedule of the bill be retained. Conclusion. The committee recommends that the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria do approve its recommendations accordingly. The committee wishes to express its profound gratitude to the entire Senate for its usual support. I so move, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any comments? Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, I rise to move the motion for this distinguished chamber to resolve the committee of the hall to consider the three reports. I so move. Minority Leader. Mr. President, Resolving to a committee of the whole in consideration of these three reports. I saw second. Right, second. The colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the Senate is resolving to committee of the whole to consider the reports of our committee on tertiary institutions and third fund say aye. Those against any ayes have it. Now I'll be next. She's the last three.
distinguished colleagues, we'll start with first report. That's um, College of Education, Federal College of Education, Mutumbiu. It has um, 25 clauses, and this is not a contro any controversial, so I'll be a little bit fast. in forward at clauses one to five stand part of the bill say aye those against any the ayes have it Clauses six to ten stand part of the bill. Say aye. Those against any aye. Those against any aye. Those in favour of clauses eleven. To 15, stand part of the bill, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes. Those in favor of clauses 16 to 20, stand part of the bill, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes. Clauses 21 to 25 stand part of the bill. Say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes. Schedule. Those in favor of the schedule. That the paragraph. Stand part of the schedule, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes. Explanatory memorandum. Those in favor of the explanatory memorandum on pages 23 and 24 stand part of the bill, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes. Short title. Those in favor of the short title stands part of the bill, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. And the long title on page 1. Those in favor of the long title stands part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. We are taking the second report, which is Federal University of Technology, Manchok, Kaduna State. It's very straightforward like the previous one, and has 27 clauses. Those in favor of clauses 1 to 5, stand part of the bill, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Those in favor of clauses 6 to 10, stand part of the bill, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Those in favor of clauses 11 to 15, stand part of the bill, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Those in favor of clauses 16 to 20, stand part of the bill, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have it. Those in favor at clauses 21 to 27, stand part of the bill, say aye. Those against any, the ayes have it. 
Those of you who are the schedules, the schedules one to three, stand part of the VCI. Those against any the ISM. The explanatory memorandum. Those in favor of the explanatory memorandum, stand part of the bill say aye. Those against any the ISM. The short title. Those in favor of the short title, stand part of the bill say aye. Those against any the ISM. And the long title. Those in favor of the long title, stand part of the bill say aye. Those against any the ISM. Not yet. And the last, Federal Polytechnic ABBA. Those in favor of clauses 1 to 5 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the eyes have it. Those in favor of clauses 6 to 10 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the eyes have it. Those in favor of clauses 11 to 15 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the eyes have it. Those in favor of clauses 16 to 20 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the eyes have it. Those in favor of clauses 21 to 25 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the eyes have it. Those in favor of clauses 26 to 29 stand part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the eyes have it. Those in favor of the schedule stands part of the bill say aye. Those against say nay, the eyes have it. The explanatory memorandum, those who the explanatory memorandum stands part of the bill say aye, those against say nay, the eyes have it. The short title, those who the short title stands part of the bill say aye, those against say nay, the eyes have it. The long title, those who the long title on page one stands part of the bill say aye, those against say nay, the eyes have it. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, I'd like to move a motion for this chamber to resume plenary to enable the chair report progress. I so move. Minority Leader. Uh, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I rise to second the motion as moved by the leader. Distinguished colleagues, those in favor of the Senate to reverse the plenary for the chair to report progress, say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have The Senate and the Committee of the Hall considered the report of the Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Third Fund on the Federal College of Education, Mutimbiu, Establishment, etc. Bill 2020, and approved as follows clauses 1 to 24 as recommended, schedules as recommended, explanatory memorandum as recommended, short title as recommended, long title as recommended. Is this a true reflection of what transpired in the Committee of the Hall? The Senate, also in the Committee of the Hall, considered the report of the Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Tet Fund on the Federal University of Technology, Manchok, Kaduna State, and Southern Bill 2020, and approved as follows. Clauses 1 to 26 as recommended, schedules 1 to 3 as recommended, explanatory memorandum as recommended, short title as recommended, long title as recommended. Is this a true reflection of what transpired in the Committee of the Hall? And the Senate also in the Committee of the Hall considered the report of the Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Tet Fund on the Federal Polytechnic ABA Establishment Exit Tribal 2020 and approved as follows. Clauses 1 to 28 as recommended, Schedules 1, Schedule 1 as recommended, Explanatory Memorandum as recommended, Short Title as recommended, Long Title as recommended. Is this a true reflection of what transpired in the Committee of the Hall? President, my highly respected and distinguished colleague, 
I rise to move the motion for the Federal College of Education Mutumbu Taraba State Bill 2020 be now read the third time. Distinguished Senate President, distinguished colleagues, I rise to second the motion that the bill on the establishment of Federal College of Education motion will be read a third time. I saw second. Distinguished colleagues, those in favor that the bill be now read a third time say aye. aye. Those against say nay. The aye serve it. Clerk of the Senate. Mr. President, distinguished senators, a bill for an act to establish the College of Education between View Taraba State, which will, among other things, provide for full time courses of teaching, instruction, and training in technology, applied sciences, commerce, art, social sciences, humanities, and management, and to carry out research and development and adaptation of techniques, and also make provision for the appointment of a provost and for officials of each of the college to carry out the administration and the discipline of students of the college and for other related matters 2020 SB 101 third reading. A bill for an act to establish the College of Education Mutumbu Taraba State which will among other things provide full-time courses of teaching, instruction and training in technology, applied sciences, commerce, arts, social science, humanities and management, and to carry out research in the development and adaptation of techniques and also make provision for the appointment of a provost and officials of each college to carry out the administration and the discipline of students of the college and for other related matters, third reading taken and passed. Congratulations. Then we we'll go to the second one. Yes, sir. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, I rise to move the motion that the Federal University of Technology Mantua Kaduna State Establishment Bill 2020 be now read the third time. I so move. Honorable Leader. The so much colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the bill be now read the third time say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have clerk of the Senate. Mr. President, distinguished senators, a bill for an act to provide for the establishment of the Federal University of Technology Manchok, Kaduna State, and for other matters connected there with 2020, SB 141, third reading. A bill for an act to provide for the establishment of the Federal University of Technology Manchok, Kaduna State, and for other matters connected there with 2020, third reading taken. The bill is is passed and congratulations. Leader of the Senate. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, I rise to move a motion for the Federal Polytechnic about Establishment Bill 2020 be now read the third time. I so move. Minority Leader. On the motion as a motion. Mr. colleagues, those in favor of the motion that the bill be now read the third time say aye. Those against say nay, the ayes have clerk of the Senate. President, the Senator, bill for the Federal Polytechnic ABA to provide full-time courses in technology, applied science, management, and other fields of studies, and to make provision for the general administration of such polytechnics and for other matters, 2020, SB 10, third a bill for an act to establish the Federal Polytechnic ABA to provide full-time courses in technology, applied science, management, and other fields of studies, and to make provisions for the general administration of such polytechnics and for other matters 2020. Third reading taking the bill is now passed. Leader of the Senate. Congratulations to all the institutions. Mr. President, my highly respected and distinguished colleagues, the first order of the day is the second reading of an executive bill standing in my name on the 2020 FCT Appropriation Act Repeal and Re-Enactment Bill 2020, Senate Bill 539. The Chungu Senate will recall that the request of Mr. President Commander-in-Chief was read yesterday, Tuesday, 24th November 2020. Mr. President, with your permission, I move that 
The bill be read the second time. You may proceed, leader. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, thank you for the opportunity to lead to lead the debate on the general principles of the revised FCT statutory appropriation bill 2020. The 2020 FCT appropriation act, repeal and re-enactment bill 2020, was read the first time yesterday, 24th November 2020. The FCT appropriation act, repeal and re-enactment bill 2020, estimates were prepared on the basis of the guidelines stipulated in the Federal Ministry of Finance Circular FMFOHM stroke 2020 APALT stroke 1, dated 7th March 2020, which directed the prioritization of growth enhancing pro poor social sector investment. It also enables the FCT provide for expenditure made on the COVID-19 pandemic that was not anticipated when the statutory budget was prepared. Highlights of the revised FCT 2020 appropriation are presented below. You can see there we have the revenue estimates, uh, which are 189 uh, billion 512,094,100 naira only. It's against the 2020 statutory appropriation revenue projection of 278 billion 355 million. 365,947 Naira only. Well, this is where we'll call it a day on today's live broadcast of Senate Plenary. Today, Wednesday, the 25th of November, 2020. Well, uh, earlier the Senate, I beg your pardon, earlier Senator Isha Abu, representing Adamawa North, defected from the PDP to the All Progressives Congress where he cited conflicts in Adamawa PDP as his reason for the defection. And the Senate has resolved to invite Minister of Communications and Digital Economy over issues of insecurity. Well, the Senate, uh, through a motion by Senator Emmanuel Boacha, uh, explained that there were some resolutions by the Senate to ensure that communication gadgets, that communication technology generally, is employed in the fight <coughs> against uh, insecurity, and that the Minister of Communications we will need to come in to ensure that there is immediate implementation of these resolutions. Well, at this point in time, we will hand you over to our studios for the continuation of our programs for the day. I am Ignatius Unko, and on behalf of the Outside Brokers crew, enjoy the rest of our programs.